Hey, what's going on, my gilded brethren? I'm bringing you a Adobe After Effects tutorial today. I'm taking a break from Photoshop, but I was I was watching this video. I've been watching this video for like three months now. It's a World of Warcraft video, and it had the the nicest text effect. It, it was amazing. It was animated. It was like a light sweep text effect that I I just learned how to create. So I'm bringing it to you all. I'm bringing it to you all. Let's go up to new composition. Create new composition real quick. In my settings, I have them set to HD TV 1080 20, 25 frames per second with high def 19 20 by 180 pixels aspect ratio square pixels frame rate 25. That's what my recording program records at. And duration three seconds. It's a it's a short. It's a very short. Uh, animation so it doesn't have to be too long alright well, what I want you to do is grab the text tool type in whatever you like I'm typing in as always uh, go to that file my text has 275 pixels here we go let's get started on this yeah. alright let's move this position this right down here what I want you to do is make a copy of the layers so you're gonna have two layers now and I'm not too familiar with this, so I don't know the hotkey. So don't know. don't don't be mad at me. Go up to Effect, Blur, and Sharpen. Go down to Fast Blur for the top layer, and I want you to just add one point of blurriness to it. All right, and go to the second layer, add a Fast Blur. And I want you to add four points in this one. Four points of blurriness. Then go back to effect, go to blur and sharpen. I want you to go to uh, CC radio blur. Yes. Then we're gonna go to fading zoom. Set it to fading zoom quality to 100. And the amount you can play around with this. It doesn't really matter. I'm just doing this for the tutorial sake, just to get the effect in here. You see that? That's the light sweep effect I was telling you about. Watch this. Watch this. Look at there it is. That's it. That's the effect. But I'm gonna go further. I'm gonna show you how to animate it, just in case you don't know how. That's a nice effect, right? Beautiful. I was so infatuated with this effect I had to figure it out. What I want you to do now is set the opacity of the top layer to five percent. Set it to five percent. And you can play with that also, it really doesn't matter, but when you set it to five percent, it looks like the light is actually showing through through it. But it still has its uh has its shape. It's not just a a, a, a ghost of a letter. Not a complete ghost of a letter. But alright, uh now let's let's animate this. And this is I believe is called King. You see, you push this little stopwatch, and then you take the time to wherever you want the animation to be, and then you take this little pointer and reposition it. Now watch this. I'm, I'm going to hit zero. You see that? Yeah, it's uh, it was rendering. That's why it was so choppy, and that's why the pixels also are blocky. Don't don't worry if your pixels are blocky, because once you render it out, it it'll smooth them right up. It'll be in high definition for real. All right, now now what I want you to do, we're gonna make a lens flare, create a a new solid. Doesn't matter what color it is. Then go up to Effect, Generate, and I'm gonna go down to Lens Flare. Lens flare it up. See, and 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 this is gonna be animated the same exact way. I'm gonna put the the little little crosshairs over here. And I don't want to change. Let's change the lens. Uh, yeah, there we go. You could mess around with this also. It doesn't really matter. This blend with the original is just blended in the background. And the flare center is how you animate this. Click the little stopwatch. Take the the time paddle over, and then move the crosshairs to where you want it to end up at. And watch this. Hit zero. I'm gonna hit zero. 
that. Get that. That's beautiful. Like encounters of the third kind. You know when they when when, when the curtains they ruffle the curtains with their lights. <laughs> hey, but hey, thank you all for watching. Hopefully you learned something. If you have any suggestions, comment, subscribe, leave video responses. I would love to see your work. But hey, thank you for watching and have a happy YouTube day. Oh, 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 oh,